welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are brand new. I am excited for this video. You guys know I do so many Sephora hauls on my channel and this is just another one and I feel like they just get better and better each time so I am pumped. Everything I talk about in today's video is going to be linked in the description box down below for you guys to shop. If you guys are interested in any of these products, click on it. It'll take you right to the website and shop away. This is not just a regular Sephora haul. It's a collaboration with my beautiful, beautiful, amazing, loving friend, Jenna. I will throw her up right over there. I have been friends with Jenna. I feel like we've been like internet friends for about a year and oh my gosh she has just been like an, a, like an older sister to me i love her so much she's she's kind she's loving and she's very caring and we have a love of makeup and it's just amazing like we both love luxury makeup and it's a thing she's just one of those people that's a genuine solid rock and i love her so much and i love her passion for beauty and everything so i'm excited to be doing this video with her we've done a few in the past so so just another one to add to the books and I am so pumped. Jenna is also doing a huge Sephora haul which is going to be linked in the description box down below as well as her social media so be sure to subscribe to her, check her out and follow her on the gram. It means a lot to me and it also means a lot to her. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm actually really excited to see Jenna's video because I don't know what she got and I know she's excited to see what I got so let's go. So the first thing I got is actually kind of ripped, it's even the wrong way that I'm showing you guys. It is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow pore tight toner, hydrating and pore refining. I have been watching so many TikToks lately and Skincare by Hiram has talked about this and this is the one product that he loves from Glow Recipe and I just did a skincare routine, I will link it down below and I realized I don't have a toner and wow, I have good skincare besides a toner so I thought I would pick one up and I'm really excited for this thing. I've used it once, obviously didn't notice the difference. It was literally once, I need to be consistent with it and use it consecutively. But it smells really good and I love the bottle, like the bottle is so nice and it smells like watermelon but it also has like a zing, like a zap to it that makes it smell like it's gonna work. It has watermelon in it which is a vitamin rich fruit that helps hydrate, soothe, and fight free radical damage which we love. It's also got hyaluronic acid which my skin is obsessed with hyaluronic acid so if I can get it in absolutely anything I totally will. Cactus water which I've actually never, I don't think I've ever put cactus water on my face but it says it has electrolytes and it helps deeply hydrate and nourish the skin and help with the springy texture, PHA and BHAs which are types of salicylic acid alternatives which are really great for your skin and just balancing them and refining them so I'm excited to continue use of this. I think it's really pretty and I've like always loved Go Recipe. So your girl is pumped for this. I always love adding new stuff into my skincare. It's it's fun because I know it's gonna make a difference for the most part. Okay, next up, this is something I picked up for my mom. She has been wanting this and I thought I would go ahead and pick it up for her because I already have this. It is the Pat McGrath um, Mothership Bronze Seduction Palette and these are expensive. So, you know, I just thought I would do something nice for her. So mom, if you're watching this, I got you that eyeshadow palette. So I hope you enjoy it. These are the beautiful colors in this palette. You guys know I love the Pat McGrath eyeshadows. They're amazing. So it has like a beautiful red in it, which when I see red and brown together in a palette, I immediately think of like fall and nice warm colors. And this is just such a pretty palette. But my favorite color is this really pretty like green citron, like iridescent shade. It's one of her like topper formulas, but it also has an iridescence of pink. So it's super fun the way it catches the light. And I know my mom's going to love this I should have palette so much. Um, my favorite ones though from Pat McGrath, if you guys are wondering, are her Divine Rose palettes. I have the first one and the second one. Did a whole review, so check it out down below um, on my channel. And it was such a good video. Like, she just never fails, and I love Auntie Pat so much. Definitely one of my favorite um, black owned beauty brands for sure. Like, she just kills it. And I'm getting really into like expanding my knowledge on black and beauty brands and I've been placing so many orders just so I can support and I also am genuinely curious so um, I'm really happy about that and it's exciting but Auntie Pat is an amazing black and beauty brand if you guys are interested which you guys should be um, definitely shop on her website I'll leave a link down below so my birthday was on June 16th of this month and I never picked up my gift and it was about time for me to do so they had one with milk makeup or briogeo but y'all know I love this in Briogeo hair care. So it comes with the Scalp Revival Exfoliating Charcoal Shampoo and the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, which is one of my favorites. Love it so much. These are going to be perfect for traveling, but also, um, I mean, I don't know what I was trying to say. 
literally just for traveling like i think these are great and even if you've never tried briogeo these birthday gifts are a great way to try out things before you you know fully purchase it so 10 10 i recommend getting this one i think that's amazing i know you guys are gonna love it so i have ditched makeup wipes i talked about it in my skincare video which i actually also just posted my whole skincare routine so that'll also be linked in the description box but i have ditched makeup wipes for the purpose of using them on my face i still have like one or two packs laying around for swatches of videos but for the most part i don't use them at all like i really try to steer clear one they're bad for the environment and i'm really trying to do everything i can like literally like reusable cups are my thing no i'm not lying like i literally only use reusable cups now anything that i can do and i think getting rid of makeup wipes out of my routine was something that i wanted to do for the longest time and i have finally put the bullet and i did it these are the original makeup erasers and it says all you do is add just water this is a seven day set and i do have the original ones from face halo which i am obsessed with it's chloe morello's um brand and face halo is amazing they're like the original ones so um, when i got these i felt like i was kind of contradicting myself because i'm obsessed with face halos but these are pretty good i mean they're not terrible i do like the face halos a little bit better because they have like a base behind them so they're not just like really flimsy these are going to be a little flimsy even once you add water the case is definitely cute though you can totally keep them in here but yeah you guys can just like see like the flimsiness which isn't bad like i don't know but just comparing it side by side the face halo one has something in it to where like it kind of just like sticks straight I do love both though. All you literally do is add like lukewarm water, rub it around, and all the makeup comes off of your face. I typically only use one side, so then I can basically make these last 14 days if needed, because they're I can double side them. But for the most part, these are amazing. Like they have just been making a huge difference. And I've noticed my skin is a lot happier because makeup wipes aren't even good for your face. They just spread bacteria. They don't even take anything off. So 10 10 recommend picking them up. But I feel like out of like all kind of makeup erasers i suggest the chloe morello ones better from face halo so i'll link them down below i just feel like they do the job a little bit better plus they're like the original ones so that's just my two cents but these are still really good if you guys love shopping at sephora like i'm still going to keep these i'm still going to use them and i might purchase another one but like if i had to pick my obsession with the sunscreen is never ending i have turned so many people onto this at my pool in my apartment it is the first day beauty weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide spf 30 broad spectrum oil free non-comedogenic and safe for sensitive skin that was a mouthful this sunscreen is amazing i really like it because it's oil free obviously the claims on it are amazing and actually does you know own up to the claims it kind of has a little bit of a tint to it it's nothing crazy like it's not foundation by any means but it has a tint to it where it kind of just like masks like any redness or dark spots on your face and it kind of just adds like an even base so that's another reason i really like it but i also love it under makeup because it doesn't pill up on my skin and make those like weird marks so i really do suggest the sunscreen it's useful under makeup or without makeup just in the sun um i've already been through one in literally like a month and a half so if that says anything this is by far the best thing ever and it makes me like want to apply sunscreen because it's so cute and amazing this is a repurchase for me it is the ordinary caffeine solution i got this from the sephora sale but your girl has already gone through almost a full one because i'm obsessed with it whoever turned me on to this i love you so much like i owe everything to you it's so good it's like a dropper formula i'm going to show you guys what it looks like it changed the packaging actually the packaging is, was not this dark in my original one but that's not really a big deal so basically it just reduces the appearance of your eye contour and like the puffiness so you'll just take like a little dropper of this i have a mini fridge like for all my skincare so you just like drop a little bit of it on your under eye take it and pat it in and then you can put like a hydrating eye cream on top of it if you want to which is what i do um i don't think this is hydrating at all but it does mask the dark circles and all that stuff and it's really concentrated so it does work it has five percent ecg in it which is absolutely amazing so i tend to recommend this and i think it's like seven bucks so you guys really can't beat that like the ordinary is amazing and it's better in the fridge because it feels more cooling and it's a lot more deep puffing on the under eye but you don't have to do that okay so another skincare product is by stack skincare by carrie benjamin it is an ice roller soothes and calms so Looking at my face, the one thing I feel like people see is just a very round, full face. And I would normally say fat, but people like say my face isn't fat, it's just very round and full. So I'm trying to speak those words into my head instead of fat. So a very round, full face. And I wake up and my face is 10 times bigger because just the puffiness and the allergies and everything. So I decided to get an ice roller. I'm gonna read you guys exactly what this does. But you obviously put it in the freezer and it is an inflammation fighting tool 
that uses power of cold to reduce redness and swelling filled with gel and water this ice roller is a stainless steel barrel to gently cool down angry skin sounds super exciting right it says use it every morning to firm tighten and lift your skin at home reduces redness relieves sore muscles and reduces under eye puffiness yeah so you just put it in the freezer and it says do not heat the roller it's not a medical device but you're going to gently roll it across your face and i haven't even seen what this looks like so take it out of here oh that's really 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 big this is a lot bigger than i expected like this is literally almost the size of my face it's huge oh i know this is definitely gonna work it feels cool i mean it's it's big though like i just wasn't expecting it to be this hefty but should have known because of the box it's just like bigger than like all my other facial tools i'm excited to try this if you guys have these let me know down below i know there's some on amazon that are like 20 bucks and i think this was maybe 29 or 39 something of that nature but i've heard so many good things on it and all my favorite skincare people on tiktok have been raving about them so i thought i'd give it a try just another extra thing to add to my skincare regimen in the morning and i don't see why it would be bad to use at night but i feel like the morning is when i only get the puffiness so that's my preferred method of it but yeah i'm really excited to keep using it and well not keep using it i'm excited to use it and then keep using it from that point and see how i like it i picked up two foundations these are the pat mcgrath sublime skin fetish foundation i picked up two of the same exact shades because my mom and i love this foundation and i got really dark i don't know if you guys can tell which i'm sure you guys can this is all natural honey it's the middle eastern in me like your girl's tan lines are crazy well let me just see if i can show you I mean, it's like worse than this on my actual body, but I have been at the pool literally every single day this week with all the kids that I babysit, and it's been like a lot of fun. Like, I've been having a blast, but I've been getting dark, and I didn't realize that it'd be an expense to have to get a different, darker foundation, so we ordered these on the app, of course. I don't know what I was trying to say, but we got medium 18, because I already have a light 14, and that is like way too light for me. It's even a light medium shade, so it's way too light for me. I'm going to open this so I can see the shade, but this foundation is really good and like super lightweight and thin. It says it's full cover but I don't know about that like I just feel like it's not but that's just me because I I don't know I just feel like it's not the packaging is so beautiful though on Pat McGrath foundation I don't really want to pump any actually because it's a super watery base and I don't have makeup wipes or anything to catch it and my comforter is white so I'm not going to open it but I'm sure this is going to be a great shade um so yeah I'm excited to have a foundation shade that matches me because none of them match me right now next up we have like another sort of like facial Kind of tool these are the tweezer man prep and plain facial razors in the shade pink perfection it says they're exclusively for sephora collection which i think is pretty cool i have facial razors from sephora collection that i love to use but i'm running out and i needed more so i thought i'd pick these up while they were very inexpensive and i just use these to take the peach fuzz off my face and my like mustache area I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm Middle Eastern, I'm a hairy person, and I just can't stand peach fuzz down here, or even like over here, like anywhere. I just can't stand it because I think, for me, in my opinion, it makes my makeup look worse and more cakey, and I want my makeup to always look natural and like blown out and just kind of simple. So I'm excited to continue use of these. Like This is obviously something I've been doing for two years I've been shaving my face, but a different razor is always fun, and I want to try one and stick to it. So. If you guys have tried these, let me know. And if you guys use another razor, I would also love to know which ones you guys do use for your face. I didn't know this, but Guerlain has a new mascara. It's called the Mad Eyes Mascara. And oh my gosh, that is so tiny. So tiny, but so cute. I'm going to open it because I tend to use mascara so much. Like, I go through it so quickly. That is a really nice one. It definitely has fragrance in that. Oh my gosh. I've never known. Did I get it on my nose? I've never known of a mascara to have fragrance in it. But it smells just like all the other Guerlain, like, high-end, old lady products. So, I hope it doesn't give my eyes, like, a weird reaction and, like, make them super red. I didn't even read the claims on this mascara on, like, what it's supposed to do. But I thought I would just try it. It says it is a buildable volume, lash-by-lash lash curl. And it has lash care-infused oils in it, I guess, that help your lashes. I don't know. I'm going to try this. might be a gimmick, but... It was expensive and I hope it works. Okay, so these are the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops with Cocoa Extra and Platinum Peptides. I have heard these are really good to like put in your foundation or put over your face before foundation to make your face like a little bit darker, but not even darker, I guess just like more bronzed and glowy. And yeah, I've seen like a bunch of my friends use these before and I just never thought anything of it and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to pick it up. Oof, that's literally my skin tone. So that's literally my skin tone, so I'm not sure if it's going to make a huge 
huge difference but on my face my face is a little bit lighter i'm excited to try it maybe this will be something that i use like like i said mix into a foundation alone or just when i have to go and i don't want any foundation on just a little bit of a bronze to my face so let me know the way you guys use this it says to just put it in a serum sunscreen moisturizer for a glow with protective antioxidants and omega fatty acids it says you can apply it to your face legs or anywhere you want to touch a bronze so that's pretty cool i'm excited to try this it might be like a holy grail in the end i don't know so the last makeup product in this video is the new charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer I didn't realize how big this bronzer was until I got it in the mail. The packaging is huge. Is it like as big as my face? So that must be in the bronzer. Yep. Yeah. That's the biggest Charlotte Tilbury packaging I have ever experienced, touched. Oh my gosh. That's big. It doesn't really like show up that much on my hand. I think I might need a darker shade, but I don't want to get it too dark and then it like, I have mascara on my nose. Anyways, I don't want to get it too dark and then when I lose my tan, it not like work. Well, I'm going to try this because like I said, my face might be a little bit lighter, but I swatched it like right there, but I don't know if you're able to see, even see that. It says it is the most gorgeous sun-kissed bronze bronzer and it has a very natural looking sun-kissed finish, but it is also going to be a matte bronzer. So I'm excited to see the way the texture kind of looks on my face. And it's made in Italy. We love that. I have some Italian friends, so like they're literally straight from Italy, so that's pretty cool. I saved the best thing for last. It is the new Refa Small Carrot Ray um, Compactly Designed Roller, and it helps firm the look of skin that tends to slacken around the eyes and the mouth. This is the bougiest thing ever. I didn't realize how extra it was. So this is like what the outer packaging looks like, but the actual thing is like an engagement box, it looks like, and you open it, and it says Refa on it. I've only ever used this once, so that's why I know this. And it has like this thing in it. And it literally has a guarantee card. Like I feel like I just shopped on Gucci or something. Like that's pretty crazy. And it has like use precautions in it and stuff. They have a bigger size that is for like the face, but my face, I feel like can use this. And I did use it on my actual like cheeks and stuff and it worked. So I feel like, you know, it might just be better to get the small one. And then here's the actual thing. So it looks like this and you take it and you just like go upwards with all of your skincare after you're done. Um, obviously read the directions, I could be saying it wrong, and it just helps firm the look of your skin. And it seems cool. It says that you can apply your regular moisturizing cream and then take this over the contours of your face, neck, and other areas of your skin, um, and then use some wipes, a cleansing cloth that they provide for you, so it's actually in here, to help clean it and take all the gunk off because we want this to stay clean and safe and this is expensive this is like just look up the price on the sephora app and you'll know how much it was it was just expensive so i'm going to make sure i take good care of it but you can go and do like your jawline your under eyes and i have the nurse jamie facial roller and i really love that thing but i thought that this was a lot more advanced and it definitely is more advanced so we're gonna see how much i like it but i'm gonna keep it in this box because i'm scared to drop it when you travel though it comes with like this little thing that you can stick it in and i don't know i just i couldn't get over like the guarantee card thing i thought that was crazy if there's an actual card in it that's weird okay you guys that is it for this huge sephora haul this video was so much fun thank you for watching and taking the time it genuinely like means the world to me don't forget to check out jenna's video down below her instagram and everything of that nature will also be linked down below for you guys to go follow and you know do some fun things over there and go watch her video because <laughs> She does really good Sephora hauls. She always does them, and they're always so tempting to buy everything that you see in her videos. But definitely go check that out. And if you guys are interested in any of these products, they're obviously going to be linked in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing rest of your day. Stay happy. Stay positive. Head up. Good things are coming your way. Have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys forever, and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye, guys.